Inside M360, when you upload a PDF drawing file to your plans folder, you can in fact get it to capture the information that is in the title block here on the right hand side. So we have status S2, maybe in an ISO project. We have a drawing number, we have a revision number and different types of codes in here. Even perhaps the author, the checker and the date as well and the title and any other type of information. You can automate this in BIM360 for when you upload a PDF document with a particular template, it will read the information from, from the designated areas automatically and populate that into uh, custom attributes within the BIM360 environment. This feature only works in the plans folder, which is the top folder here that is, is by default on any type of BIM360 project. And it will automatically populate the title, revision, whatever you've designated, you can create custom attributes as well. So you might create a custom attribute such as drawing title, drawing name, or perhaps you, you might even call it, uh, let's call this one, I'm just gonna call this uh, drawing, drawing author. I'll just keep it short. So text field and we can get it to read from, from uh, that drawing author as well. So what I'm gonna do is just go to my plans folder. I'm going to get my PDF drawing. So just close this one in the background. Close that. So all I'm going to do is just drag my PDF into the BIM360 environment. So you can see what it's doing. It, it, you upload the files. It will then scan for sheet numbers and names. It will review the results, results and the fine layouts and then extract any sheets and publish them. So I'm just going to hit OK on that. So all it's doing is processing in the background. It's looking for a layout template. Uh, you can see the file is uploading as a PDF. I'm just going to take a moment. There we are. And it's asking me if there's a, a template defined. I'm going to say no. But in here, you can set uh, your default template, whether it's A1, A3, A0. Therefore, it knows what template to, to look for the information under. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select that. I'm going to go to continue. I can add more files to this if I wish. Go to continue. So what it's doing is now extracting the information. So here it has now uploaded the sheet, so I can select that sheet. I can define what's known as the actual layout as well of the title box, so define. So what defining allows you to do is select the particular areas of the information that you want to read. So you can zoom in on title block, select where the title block is. So in this case, we're just going to select this particular area, highlighted in blue with this tool called Image Crop. So I hit next. Now it's going to ask me where the name of, of this uh, particular uh, template is. So I can add more tributes if I want. So it's to select the area where the number is. So the number is, in fact, uh, this number down the bottom. So it will always look for a new number. So I'm going to go select area. All I'm going to do is just highlight that. So whenever you upload another sheet, uh, it will always look for the number in there and therefore automatically populate. Uh, then for title, also going to select area. So the title of the sheet is ground floor GA. So you can select if you wanted to read horizontal or vertical. So it's always going to look inside this box for any sort of textual change to that. I'm going to call this, I think it's the A3 uh, standard template. So the standard template just applies to, if you upload another A3 sheet, you can simply just select that title box. So A3 standard. Now I can select more attributes if I want. Uh, I can such as revision. Go down to revision down here. Select. And simply just highlight in that box as well. Let's see, we'll select more attributes. What else have we got? Uh, classification, drawing, author, if I wish, uh, status. So I'm actually going to. So our status is set here. So I always want the status to look in here. So we'll make it, we'll set in the case the status ever gets bigger. So that's fine. So we'll just leave it at that for the moment. I'm just going to hit save. So once you click save on that, it then asks you to review the information to make sure it's correct. So you can see it, it's taken out this information automatically. Ground, ground floor GA is the title. It's taken the number. It's taken that complete number read it itself. Same for revision and same for status. So I can just press publish all on this. 
just tells me that I've had success that it's being published. Um, I've also received an email to say that that's, that uh, information has been extract, extracted. So we've just chosen one PDF here, but this could be 10 or 20 PDFs in, in one PDF file as well. So you can just imagine the efficiency of that. So I'm just going to show in folder. So here is our file, ground floor title, uh, revision, all of that other information there, file name, number, file name and number just happen to be the same thing. That's all that is. Uh, and my status and even my revision code as we saw as well. So you can obviously add more parameters there as well. And then it only works in the plans folder just for PDFs. So that's how you automate the population of BIM360 parameters from a PDF drawing.